Robert Kelso is on a different type of mission for NASA. We're interested in them visiting these lunar historic sites, but we also want to assure that we protect them from damage. Kelso is sharing his recommendations for preserving the Apollo sites on the moon. The, the whole trick here is a risk versus risk or and risk versus gain. It's the risk of going to these sites versus the gain that we can see by, um, uh, by surveying them after 40 years. Nobody really knows what what's there and what, what it looks like after 40 years. The published guidelines calls for safeguarding the historic and scientific value of more than three dozen sites on the moon. This is unprecedented. This discussion has never really come up before because we haven't had any groups wanting to visit uh, NASA hardware on another planet like the moon before. And, um, and associated with that, there's an interesting discussion on how we preserve historically things like the Apollo sites that were so culturally changing in the Cold War 40 years ago for this nation. But also, how do we, how do we get there and, and assess what's there to learn from that? The guidelines came about after the company Google Lunar X proposed a $20 million prize to any private team that lands a robotic rover on the moon's surface and an additional $4 million for landing near one of the landing sites and snapping pictures of the artifacts. These things have been uh, sitting there undisturbed but weathering in the harsh lunar environment for 40 years. And so we can learn about long duration space flight and materials sitting on other planetary systems by going back and visiting them. And so it gets back to this discussion for the students of the risk of going uh, and, and seeing archaeological sites versus the very risk of damaging these sites by the very act of going to look at what we want to see. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.